Why, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, a Lotro adventure! We're back for the new year! Hope you're having a great and wonderful day in Middle Earth, my friends. Uh, Weathertop is behind me, and uh, we are going to head back to our leveling area. We're going to go back and continue on in Enflos. All right, back to Slond Sirion. All right, that's where we're going to go today. We're going to do some leveling. Um, I am recovering very w I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So um, to all everyone who's been keeping up for the time this video is released, I don't like to say anything that will... Um, date the video, which is why I just said Happy New Year. I'm not gonna say what year, um, but you all know I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing great. I'm getting there. Um, I'm still really exhausted and really tired. I caught the COVID again. Lovely. Um, and I'm doing a lot better now, though. But I get tired real quick. But I'm super happy to be here. And I things have been driving me crazy. I hate it when I can't make videos. I have so much fun making videos and doing stuff with you guys in streams. So. When I can't do that and like having trouble with my voice and stuff, it's like, oh, it's like, er, I want to, I want to make videos right now. So it's like, is being sick worse or is it that I just can't make content? Probably the content part for me personally, but I really like making the videos for you guys. Um, Would you do something? So, for uh, not really gonna be doing many voiceovers in the next episode or two here on a Lutra adventure, just because I don't think my voice can handle it. I can keep my regular talking voice, um, but I need to be careful. with it. I don't want to burn it out after two 20 minute episodes, you know. Um, look at that, by the way. Look at that gorgeous view right down there. It looks awesome. Like, I don't know, is it just like, did they do another visual update in this new area? Cause that looks beautiful, this shot right there. That looks really good. All right, so we need to find out where we are with the chapter. Um, oh yeah, look at all these quests. Um, I guess, oh, you know what, remember the trick? Everyone remember the trick? You can click, uh, track nearby quests when you right click on your radar. There we go, perfect. And there we go, there's a chapter we're on. Ah, glorious. So if you, if you haven't played in a couple, you know, a week or something and you forget where you're at, there's your trick, right? I'm gonna bring down the music just a little bit, it's a little too loud. Um, so let's see, let's bring up my scanner here. All right, so they're right around here. The chapter is here too, so let's go ahead and just, aim at the chapter. Uh, these other ones are nearby, but they're way too low level now. Minas Morgul, I guess, is the next closest place to me <laughs> out, of tw out of 10 quests. That's funny. Let's not have those on the tracker, though. It will track the closest things anywhere in the world, mind you. So if you're wherever you're standing, whatever is closest to you, it's going to track. All right? So that's what you got to keep in mind. What's this? Bridge uh, offers a breathtaking view of the water. It really does. That's really nice. Looks really good. Dare I say, this new area looks like even a newer game. Looks awesome. I love how the rocks look now. They look so much better. The textures and stuff. All right, let's talk with this guy. I saw you and King Elisar when you arrived at Lon Curion in the company of young Master Orgulus. Dude, this guy's got an awesome voice. I, I, I can't help myself. I saw you and King Elisar when you arrived at Lon Curion in the company of young Master Orgulus. I saw you and King Elisar when they arrived at the Lon Lon Sirion in the company of your master Orgulus. He is a frequent visitor to this bridge and often wants news from the concerning distant lands. The news is poor of late. Corsair ships are often seen along the coasts and they endanger the fish folk and the peasantry of Anphalos. Do they not know the war is over? All right, sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's keep going. Wait, I need to walk, talk to someone down at the docks, it looks like, too. Um, oh, okay, let's, uh, guess we got a hot bag down. Can I make it to that house? Ah! Oh, I sure can. Oh, 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 ah, ah! Oh. Man, I wanted to get to the, so that is an actual uh, thing that goes up and down that I'll let you click and it'll take you to the bottom. But um, I guess I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I didn't die. I fall off, I fall off cliffs a lot in my series, but you know what? I rarely die when I do that. So I think that's a win, right? I love the music, by the way. It's very happy. It's very, uh, 
gets me in the mood to be in helping helping the people of of Anflos. All right, Orgulus watches the soldiers train with a sword with his bow. Okay, so then remember if we in the previous episode, so you if you're binge watching, you know where we're at. But for anyone else who's forgetting previous episodes, this kid is um, the son of the royalty of this of this of Lonsirion, I believe. How there! I love the music, but it still sounds too loud to me. We'll do that. Ho there! I come here often to watch the soldiers training. Ho there! I'm not gonna do it exactly in his voice, because again, I don't want to shred up my vocal cords. So I'll do my best just to make it somewhat different. Ho there! I come here often to watch the soldiers training. Ho there, Zalin! I come here often to watch the soldiers training. One day, I hope to have so much martial prowess as they do. I will be as good and a fighter as my father was. Nay, I shall be even better. Mother says the war is over, but um, Ar uh, Arendt showed me a ship far off in the bay that must have been full of Corsairs sailing from Umba. I hope they are not um, all dealt with before I have finished my sword training. <laughs> okay, child. No, you don't want to be in war, I promise. All right, let's see here. The friendly competition. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's see here. It's right back over here. So see if we if we step in this, it'll teleport us to the top. Now it would've been kind of cool if it physically went up and down, but let's be honest. Who wants to sit and wait for it go to bring you to the top? So I kind of understand why they decided not to do all that programming and probably glitchy glitches that would happen. And besides, this the world is so big in Middle Earth. I, things like that are like not really super necessary. I just found this cute little side street. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your picnic. They're having a nice little picnic. How adorable! <laughs> what a great, what a great spot. I see where they're having the picnic right here. <laughs> All right. Make a joke, be like, that's where I'll bring my girl someday. Oh wait, this is a virtual world. We'll have to find a real spot. No, I have a real spot in mind. <laughs> Already. All right, let's see here. This way. We're looking for the King Elisar in the main hall. Yep, okay. Go and talk to Aragorn. Ah, it's good to be back and making a video. Alright. King Elisar, I'm back! Who's that? Oh, another player. <laughs> Lady Mara and I have come to an understanding. Zalin. And she knows we did as much for her husband as we could, and mourn with her that it was not enough. She has my promise that we will work to, to defend her people, as Gosalgil desired. Ooh, I get a new, um... New heavy armor. Sweet. Much better than mine. I'll take it. Lady Mara's scouts patrol the lands hereabout in search of Corsair raiding parties. And I have often uh, offered to, th to them for assistance of my traveling companions, many of whom are deadly with weapons of every sort. I count you in this number zone. Oh, thank you, Lord. I appreciate it. Uh, and you would greatly appreciate your aiding and the, oh I'm sorry and you and would greatly appreciate your aiding the scouts as they seek such foes as trouble and philosophy. I'm doing pretty okay with the names today though. The scouts have gone in three directions to the north, the east, and the south. What about the west? We came from the west, Solid. Oh, oh, okay. Good point. <laughs> Alright, let's go find the scouts. Again, we're not going to do any of the other quests. We're just going to stick to the chapter quest because I am actually, like, leveling up very quickly. I really would like to hurry and hit level 150, the new cap, right, since the expansion. And I really, really, really want to get to the shield islands, which we're probably going to be seeing a lot of the shield islands in my Lotro Adventure or in a stream, okay? So that's probably where we'll be seeing it. Um, realistically, I would love to do another tour episode, but this is something that I've heard other YouTubers say, and I'm kind of learning too, 
is that I really just need to do things that you all enjoy and that I enjoy doing because if I try to make some big extravagant video that's you know takes me five hours to make where I could have made another ten of another like this video um, what happens is is I end up running out of um, it's not really as big a reward as it should be the way YouTube works right so sometimes it'll it'll hit it off and I'll get you know 500 views on that video it'd be awesome or at the time of my channel growth right and then sometimes you know it'll get 40 views it's like I would have got more with a Lotro Adventure, right? And again, I'm not against going and making those videos because I enjoy making tour videos. I know you guys like them. Um, and Ambion's videos, you guys really seem to like those. We so. must not let our vigilance. Those last. will still come out. I'm just going to focus on the ones that you guys all really enjoy as my community and what you guys have kind of told me. So let's see. But we will definitely do a tour of the Shield Islands sometime in the future. Uh, but no matter what, we're going to be going through the Shield Islands through this adventure playlist. So. Subscribe, because you'll be able to see it right here in beautiful 2K. High bit rate. Okay, let's talk to this scout and stop talking about the Have you come to help? Good. Good? You are here to help uh, oppose the enemies of Amphalos. I am pleased to hear that. For I suppose a number of Corsairs creeping about those rocks, and I believe they will soon return. All right. I was right! Here they come! Wait, why did the Dunox attack us? The Dunox is on the side of the Corsairs! Oh, we're gonna be eating well tonight, boys. Ox steaks, here we come. <laughs> hey, it attacked us first. All right, Orion thanks you for your help. Thank you, my friend. I like how it was narrated and then he says it. What does that make me think of like Princess Bride movie? I don't know why. <laughs> they had so much narrating in that, you know. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Hope you guys are enjoying too. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're not and you like Lotro. Or any Lord of the Rings content. Or gaming in general. We kind of do it all here. Oh, I love this music. Turning it up. Turn off the music. Aww. Is that, is that combat music? Maybe that's... I'll just turn it up in general anyway. I'm going to have to pace my excitement there with my talking. <clears throat> I can already feel my lungs say like, stop it! <laughs> We're still recovering, man! We'll recover faster! Because I want to make videos. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I still have not gone and done this. I need to do the ore crafting so I can actually pick it up. I wonder how much work that would be right now to just umbar. <clears throat> um, prospecting. So I just need to finish Gundabad prospecting. I have so much Gundabad stuff. I might be able to just get it. Because all I have to do is I have to get this up to the next level. If I use an XP accelerator, I might be able to do that real fast. We might do that in this video or the next real fast. We'll see. Days of peace have come at last to Gondor. Corsair's scout spotted in Lent. To speak it... Make it so. Alright. I really like the combat music. A lot. Listen to that. Oh. Always we oppose them. You have my thanks. The problem is the ambient music on the field is a little loud, so I kind of have to like pop it up and down. Oh man, I'm so glad that it's uh, afternoon in the game when I'm streaming this video. That's the one thing that I, I think I kind of like in Lotro, is I would like a toggle for um, if it's day, what time of day it is, and you can kind of just toggle it on, right? right? Like, I like afternoon, I like morning, I like this. So when you're doing like, so I like that, and I'd also like the ability to have, a, I, I like the camera in Lotro, I think is really, really well done, but I'd love a, cinematic camera that you could take screenshots with that you could unhook from your character and like move right and of course let's say combat starts right when combat starts it cancels it and you hook back so you can't do it in combat um maybe to cause there being less issues with that but um i don't know what do you think of those two ideas i like those ideas it's such an awesome beautiful game i think it'd be a cool thing if they could add it we must not take these days for granted oh isn't this the lady that was digging on the beach no it's no, she's different 
Is her... Does she have a piece of metal in her nose? I think the helmet is going through her nose. I found a little bit of a mishap there. Even though I really like how she looks, actually, as a, like an older warrior. You must always remain vigilant. Vi vigilant. What did I tell you? Corsairs approach! I think, I think she can handle these guys. She's pretty strong. Aha! Turn the tables! I do like the the update to Guardians that turn the tables now will work just no matter what. You don't even have to be targeting someone, but it can hit up to three other targets. You have my thanks for from Lon Sirion, my friend. Good, 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 good. All right, so we got to go back to the city, which um, I can actually get there much faster by using my five-minute cooldown teleport. So instead of walking, but look at that view. Look at that, the beautiful beaches of Gondor. And just a little side note out there for all of my longtime viewers and hardcore viewers here. You guys are all wonderful. But if anyone ever worries like, will Zolan ever stop doing? No, I'm not ever going to stop doing these videos. I love these videos, okay? So, no matter what, the channel will be here. I'll be making some kind of content. So that's the goal. Thanks to my Patreons, I've been able to make this my full-time thing. If any of you guys want to help support that way too, awesome. But uh, even in the future, if I have to get an you know, main job and be doing this on the side, I will still be making videos. It just wouldn't be quite as uh, often as being a main time thing. But my goal is to make this the main time thing. That's the goal. God willing. All right? That's the goal. Uh, and again, thanks to them. And to everybody else who remembers and all that stuff. It really, really helps so much. Can't even tell you how much that helps. It's a blessing. Thank you. All right. Let's keep going on our story here. Oh, I am glad you have returned. Oh, I am glad you have returned, Zalin. King Elisa asked me uh, for, to attend to some business about an hour from now, and I am cons uh, consumed with worry about what it might be. I'm trying uh, not to be nervous, but it is, well, difficult. Will you accompany me, my friend? Will you accompany my friend? The king did not prohibit friend? it so far as I know. The king did not prohibit it so far as I know, and I cannot imagine what he would not allow you to be present at, whatever this duty turns out to be. I would just feel better if you were there, Zolan. Tell me, would you come with me? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Thank you, my friend. I will not forget this. Let us meet with King Elisar at the appointed hour, and until that time comes, I will try not to worry over much. I, I get that. <laughs> Today we are gathered to hear the last wishes of Golazgil. Lord of Anfalos, who fell in service of the kingdom. Cool, okay. We are here to witness the last wishes of Lord Gassel. Wait, this is what Aragorn just said, but it's this guy talking, whatever. As was written in his final testament. Uh, that is a relief, Solar. I was afraid I had done something wrong. Man, you gotta calm down and stop worrying about everything. Uh, Kabar turns a bright sh shade of pink. Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's... Narrator voice. <coughs> Kabar turns a bright shade of pink at the realization that he has spoken loudly in the quiet room. Oh, hush now, Kabar. He cries himself under his breath. This is a solemn occasion. Lord Galaskill's last wishes should have been presented before now. Why wait so many months to reveal his wishes? Uh, I found them only today. <laughs> oh, is that so? They were lost. <laughs> I like how this guy looks. Bring them forth, Lady Mara, if you will. <coughs> Sorry. Try to mute if I'm gonna cough. <clears throat> To know the contents of this testament are as Lord Galuskill intended. Mara might have written anything with it. All right, let me see it. Is 
The seal on these uh, uh, papers has indeed been broken, which is unusual for My such a document. My scribe has much skill and experience with the written word. He will tell us if Golazgiel wrote this testament. Kaibar, will you examine the writing contained within, please? Oh, yes, of course, my king. This is really cool. This is well done. It is true, the seal is broken, but the letter within is written in only one hand. That proves nothing. Mara might have written or rewritten it in its entirety. True. <laughs> oh, it's okay, don't cry. Lady Mara, can you produce a sample of your husband's writing for us? Oh, I suppose there might be something within this chamber. My friend, find a sample of Galazgiel's writing. Show it to Kaiba. All right, you have it, my lord. All right, uh, where do I start looking? I'm not really good with these books well, actually. My, my, my older brother, Zerlin, he's a, he's a runekeeper. He's real good with books. Let's see. Uh, he showed me a thing or two. Right, this page lists coins earned and spent. He, written, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got it. Let's go with this one. Uh, these parchments contain notes on uh, migratory patterns and seabirds. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, pages within the heading notes of the current is signed by... and contains... Oh, okay. There we go. You found something written in Gosson's hand? Aye, these notes are extensive, and see where he signed them. We're here at the bottom, he must have been very interested in the movement of the currents to have written so much. Let me compare the handwriting of these paper pages with his uh, purported testament. Handwriting matches perfectly. Thank you, Kaibar. Read us now the last wishes of Lord Galasgiel, if you would. Very well, my king. I, Galasgiel of Anfalas, make this record in the library of Lond Kirion, my home. Tomorrow I depart for Minas Tirith at the command of the steward Denethor. Should I not return, this testament will direct the disposal of my land and property. For the better part of an hour, Cavern reads Gosara's last wishes. Wow. Makes sense. He was like a king of... That makes sense. He liked every detail. And to the fishing village of Melgobas, I leave that same sum in gold. I direct also that they be given my notes on water temperature and the currents. The streams of Gondor all lead to the sea eventually. But it seems to me that even the Bay of Belfalas has rivers of its own. I have one more wish, and I hold it most dear. Oh, he's talking about underwater currents. Cool. To my son, Orgulus, I leave the great ship Falfaroth. The Wave Hunter. Whoa. May he command the Wave Hunter in service of Gondor when he is old enough. I hope to stand alongside him on the deck when he does. But if I cannot, may he follow in his father's footsteps all the same. To my dear wife Mara, I leave my love and all remaining lands and titles I possess. May she rule Anfalas well and wisely until our son and my heir Orgulas comes of age. That is the end. <laughs> that is the end. <laughs> that was cool. Thank you, Kaibar. I love the voice actor of Aragorn. As King of Gondor, I command that these wishes of loyal Golazgil be carried out as best they may. As best they may. Thank you for your part in this, Solon. I am glad to have heard Galas Gosalil's wishes, for now we can see that they will be carried out. He was a good friend and a worthy soldier, and I want to honor his directives. There is still a question I want answered, 
but it is of a sensitive nature, and I will first allow the audience to uh, disperse. We will speak with the Lady Mara about this last question when we can do so without too many ears nearby to hear. That was awesome! We also look really cool in our armor. I, I am sorry, but it was very hard to hear these things. My husband was a, a man of great bravery and courage, and a greatest heart. But to think of him writing these things alone, without first taking my advice. I will shed no more tears. I wish this letter had not been read here today. Mara falls silent, her face a mask. Oh, sorry, man. I have to ask you something, Mara. And I do not wish to give you offense or cause you any further upset, but I feel that I must ask it. Elisar fixes his gaze upon the Lady Anflas. When the next he speaks, his voice is gentle, but his eyes are stern. Why did you break the seal upon your husband's last wishes, Mara? The parchment was not found only today, as you suggested. The paper was in your possession ever since Golasag, uh, destroying his name, Golasagil departed, and you knew its contents before now. I am grateful for your discretion earlier, my king. For well, the Korach would seek any advantage he could from this, and Golas Golsalgil would never forgive me should a wi widow's weakness endanger Orglas' claim. But I broke the seal and read my husband's last wishes out of fear that he would do as he has indeed done, granted to his son and mine that cursed ship, Wave Hunter. How often did he speak of his intentions for Orgolus to follow in his own steps and become a great mariner like his father? Too often, and ever, ta every time it cut me deeply. The Wave Hunter was harbored upstream in Pinneth Gelin during the war to protect it from the Corsairs, and I have refused to summon it back here to keep Orgolus as far from its threatening decks as I can. When I saw such a uh, bequest and <laughs> had been made, I did not know what to do, and I cannot disobey the command of the King of Gondor. Hindering Gosala's wishes was bad enough, but I fear my son's safety. He is too young, my king. You must understand. I entreat you to forbid Orbalas from leaving Lorn Kyrian, no matter what his father has gifted to him. I gave you my thanks for not speaking what, uh, um, that suspected in front of Corteran King Elisar, but you will have to, my thanks, a hundredfold if you do this now. I entreat you to forbid Orgolus from leaving Lon Sirion, no matter what his father has gifted him. Already it is nearly impossible to keep him from sneaking beyond the walls, but perhaps a command from the King of Gondor would stay his steps. I understand this request, Mara, but I fear you may do more harm with it than you will prevent. I understand this request you have to my husband, Mara, but I fear you may do more harm with the asking of this boon than you will prevent. Your son will not be kept from leaving your home, if that is the purpose of his heart. Though the command he be in the king's voice, Orgolus will know who wrote the words and the knowledge can only breed resentment. You say, uh, Golsolgil was a fine mariner, and I do uh, not doubt he was. But what I have learned of your husband from my own is that he cared deeply for the people of Anfloss and did not sail for, from them or from you without great need. Perhaps if Orgolus understood the cares and concerns of the folk he will rule when he comes of age, he will make the same choice, and the Wave Hunter will remain at his dock. This, then, is my suggestion. Let your son come with our traveling party as we journey to Pineth Galin. It is my belief that Orgolus will see this land with his new eyes, and he will grow into the responsibility he must one day have. 
Interesting, interesting. I do not know. Mara looks from the queen to the king and back again. What if this journey gives life to em embers that might otherwise have been cooled? I do not w w not see how much an adventure could prevent, which I fear, my son. <laughs> All right. So she want we want to talk to someone else outside the keep. Okay. Okay. But guess what? I think we're gonna do that in the next episode of a Lotro Adventure. You guys have a great day in Middle Earth again. Thank you to my patrons for their support. Subscribe button's there. Next episode's over there. And over there is probably a Lotro Tailor or Guide or one of my playlists. Check out everything. Again, if you feel want to help support the channel, even the small one, you get extra bonuses on Discord. If you're not in our Discord, by the way, you don't have to be a Patreon to be in Discord. You'll still be able to get the alerts and be in our kinship chat in there. Um, you go down there, go to the voiceoftherings.com social media page you can join discord there always or the newest live stream will have a link usually um but uh if you want to support the channel where i keep doing content completely full time here on the channel if you want to do the five dollar whatever level smaller bigger you're the best thanks guys just letting you know no obligation i always want everyone to have fun here the main goal is i'm having fun and you're having fun see you in the next one baruka's akuza and i menu <laughs>